Joey looks so uncomfortable in this scene as he should because it's an awkward situation. Like, girl, what's wrong with you? Are you okay? What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Roxy, with Roxy Says, and we're going to talk about it. So today we are reviewing season 28, episode one of The Bachelor, Joey season. Let me start off by saying this. If you are new here, this is my second time watching a show from Bachelor Nation. The first time that I watched was The Golden Bachelor. This is my first time watching The Regular Bachelor. Okay, so I might ask some questions just to figure out what's the norm, you know, what they usually do season by season. So feel free to politely enlighten me on what goes on because I will have a couple of questions, okay? So before we get into this video, let's get into some housekeeping. I know that y'all are waiting for me to review Love is Blind Sweden. I will be reviewing that. I just came back from Vegas, baby, okay? So I've been a little busy, but I will be doing my review of that. That should be up this week. And as you know, Love is Blind season six is starting February 14th. So make sure that you are subscribed because you already know when it's Love is Blind. You, you, you know, you know, okay? So let's get into this video. But before we do, don't forget to hit like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure you hit that notification bell so that you are made aware every time I post a new video. Okay, so let me say this. I enjoyed this episode. I was thoroughly entertained we already got a hot mess we all thinking the same name we thinking the same name we thinking the same name let's say it together one two three jess, jess. yes let's call her messy jesse Je jess with the well someone is already named jess with the mess but messy jesse because girl but we're gonna talk about all of it so as this episode opens up we see joey he's at the beach he's crying we see a car driving away we see a single rose that's left behind we see the filming crew they look confused and it appears that they're at the proposal spot and i'm like did someone decline joey's proposal and then they do a little swoosh rewind to two months earlier okay we see a happy optimistic joey and i'm like oh 28 joey's a little baby he's adorable but they give us some backstory they show us him and charity they show charity breaking up with joey and letting him know that she found a deep deeper love connection with someone else. So of course his heart was broken. He moves back to Philadelphia to be close with his family and friends. And he lets them know that he is definitely ready to get back out there. He wants to be in a relationship where the love that he gives is actually reciprocated. So I know that the majority of y'all already know Joey, but I'll say for myself, first impressions, he's a cutie pie. He's a sweetheart. He has this innocence about him that I really like. So we see Joey, he arrives to the mansion, he meets up with Jesse, and Jesse lets him know that there are more women showing up on this first night than ever in Bachelor history. 32 women. And I'm like, that's a lot of women. <laughs> that's a whole lot of women. So now it's time to meet the ladies. First, we see Lexi. She's 30 years old. She lives in Atlanta. She wants to be a mom, but recently she learned that she may not be able to have kids. And knowing that made her very insecure about dating. But she says that she's ready to give Joey her all. Okay, next we meet Rachel. She's an ICU nurse. She's 26 and she is from Hawaii. Okay, and she gifts Joey with a lay. I thought that was really cute. Next, we meet Maria. She's 29 and she immediately gives extra. She gives main character energy and not necessarily like in a bad way, right? But she seems like she likes to have fun. She lives in Canada and I already feel like she's gonna be one of the ones to spice things up this season. So I'm gonna definitely keep my eye on Maria, okay? And Joey is very impressed by her. But to me, they, they kind of look alike. They look like they can be related, like brother and sister, cousin something they look alike take a look at them and let me know <laughs> next we have erica 25 years old she's a leasing agent and she comes out of the limo dancing she comes out of the limo dancing she's dominican and cuban and she says that she is ready to find her life partner okay so next we meet autumn autumn is 26 years old and she asks joey what his favorite season is and joey's like uh spring summer <laughs> and she says well hopefully by the end of this you will fall in love with autumn you caught that like i thought that was cute you know the production they was writing all these little cute puns for everyone to say adorable so next we meet kelsey from new orleans she's 25 years old she's a project manager and she brings a little voodoo doll and she says that she brought the doll so that no matter what joey falls in love with her it would have been creepy but thankfully she doesn't keep the doll she actually gives the doll to joey because i'm like if she kept the doll that would have been kind of strange, right? <laughs> Unfortunately, we do learn that her mom passed away a few years ago, which of course was extremely difficult for her. 
and she's very close with her dad. And I don't know how to segue into this, but I have to shout out her dad, Mark. <laughs> kind of fine. I'm, I, <laughs> handsome guy. Maybe he could be the next uh, golden bachelor, okay, if he's single, but Mark, Kind of fine, okay? Moving on. <laughs> Next up, we got Krissa, beautiful girl. Well, all these ladies are beautiful in all honesty, okay? But for me, as soon as she reached out for that hug and she said, bring it in, and she patted him on the back and started dancing, immediately I got friend vibes, immediately, right? And obviously I'm not saying that you can't laugh and dance with your romantic partner. You wanna do a lot of laughing and dancing with your romantic partner, but I just got a friend vibe from her. Let me know what you think. Next, they speed through a couple of other women. We see Chandler, Marlena, Star. They breeze through Tyler, Nat, Sandra, and Sam, okay? Then we meet Allison. She's 26 years old. She's from Philadelphia, and we see her and Joey speaking about family. Then, we learn that her older sister is the one who signed them up as something that would be fun for them. And I'm like, ew. Yes, interesting, yes, entertaining, but still ill, right? So next, her sister Lauren comes out. Lauren is 28 years old, and they've already decided not to tell any of the ladies that they are sisters. And they especially don't wanna tell Joey, okay? And in all honesty, to me, seeing them back to back, they actually look like twins, right? But if I saw them in a crowded room and one was on this side and one was on the other side, I probably wouldn't even realize that they're sisters, or I wouldn't even think that they're sisters. And I really wanted to see if Joey would be able to catch that resemblance. So Lauren says that she told Allison that if she kisses Joey first, she needs to tell her immediately so that she can go and kiss him because she wants to be the first to kiss Joey. <laughs> to me, the idea of all this kissing is already gross. I'm already grossed out by it, but now to add sisters kissing after each other, it's just a whole new level of ill, honestly. But Lauren and Joey, they chug a beer together. This meetup also gave me fun, friend vibes, homegirl vibes, not romantic, right? And it doesn't seem like she's really there for Joey, but more for this friendly little sister competition. Next, we see Jesse and he tells Joey that he will be seeing a familiar face. So apparently it's someone from The Bachelorette from the After the Final Rose special. And she has this card that she wasn't able to open until this season. Feel free to fill me in on that whole thing how that works, like what's that about? Yeah, just let me know, okay? Then we see a second limo show up and I'm like, oh my God, there's more, there's more. So we meet Caitlin, she's 25 years old, she's a radio chemist and she brings this little cute experiment for them to do. The experiment is a success, it has a reaction and that means that the two of them have chemistry. I thought that was so cute. Uh, next we see Kelsey. She's 31 years old. Their meeting was really cute. Kelsey, the body was bodying. Kelsey is a baddie. Okay. Kelsey is a baddie. And in this scene, the music that they were playing, it sounded really romantic. It sounded really hopeful. And Joey's eyes were sparkling. And I'm like, okay, Joey, I think he likes him some Kelsey. Next up, we have Jen. She's 25 years old. She is a physician's assistant and she is from Miami, okay? And she pulled up in a go-kart and what it really reminded me of was Faith from The Golden Bachelor. Remember when she pulled up on a motorcycle? Yeah, that's what it was giving. <laughs> that's what it was giving. Next, we see Jess, okay? She pulls up in a boat. She introduced herself and that was pretty much all we got in that scene. Oh, but she about to act a whole fool in the rest of this episode, okay? You just wait. But after Jess, in all honesty, it was just all stunts and shows. We got someone who had cheese whiz. We had someone throwing dough. We had someone with a giant bra. We had someone with a very weird scream. Girl, what was that? Joey looked very uncomfortable, okay? We had someone pull up with some bananas, you know, to compare it to Joey's pee, -pee size. What else did we get? We got some moaning. I thought I was looking at an Herbal uh -huh. Essence commercial, okay? A tennis umpire chair a bunch of tennis balls because Joey worked as a teaching tennis professional. Yeah, I get it. But the ladies were pulling out all of the stops for this initial meetup. Then finally, after all of the craziness, we meet Daisy. She's 25 years old. She grew up on a Christmas tree farm. And we learned that when she turned 17, she started going deaf. And unfortunately, it started to progress and progress to the point where it made her really insecure about dating. But recently, she got a hearing implant and that has given her the confidence to start dating again, right? So good for her. And I do feel like her and Joey are definitely going to make a strong connection. So next we meet Leia. She's 23 years old. She finally shows up and she has that card in her hand, okay? 
And she tells him that they're going to open it together later. And I'm like, girl, open the card now. Open it now, okay? The ladies are all super curious and excited to see what's in this card. And of course, they want to know how the contents of that card will affect them in this competition, right? Of course. So Joey comes in and I'm like, oh my God, that's a lot of women. No way he's going to get to meet all of these women, right? But he's super sweet. And he tells them that he definitely believes that his fiance and future wife is in this room right now, okay? So Joey starts breaking off with the women, going on dates, and getting to know the ladies more, right? His first little date is with Autumn. They both connect on the love of their grandparents. Autumn says that she wants that long-term relationship just like her grandparents had, and of course, Joey wants the same. Next, we see him with Erica. Remember, she came out of the car dancing, and he definitely says that he likes her energy and her spunk. Next, we see him and Jess. They're on the boat, and she is making it clear, okay, that she is there for him. She's like, I'm here for you. I'm so happy to be here. And they kiss. This girl gets the first kiss of the night, and it's just hell from there. <laughs> it's just hell from there, okay? And when I say this girl had me fooled, cause in the scene I was like, oh my God, she really likes Joey. She had tears in her eyes after the kiss. She must be really genuine and not crazy at all. But what does she do right after they kiss? She runs into the mansion and she tells all the other ladies, okay? Now, I have a question. If you were on a show like this, how would you play it? Would you kiss and tell? Like, would you do the same thing or would you keep it quiet? Because right now, Jess is giving Teresa from Golden Bachelor, remember when Kathy had to tell her to zip it? That's what Jess is giving, but on a more crazy level that we are gonna talk about in just a minute. Now we do know that all of these shows are heavily, heavily edited, edited, heavily, heavily produced, produced, and production probably told her to go in the room and say that, but she's gonna play it up even more. But what I wanna know is if it was up to you, what would you do? Would you kiss and tell or would you keep it on the hush? Let me know in the comments below. I would definitely not say anything. Like y'all don't need to know that. And of course, when Jess runs in and tells the ladies, the majority of them are not happy about the news. They pretty much all share the same sentiments. Like, why are you telling us that? Not cute not classy, stop it, okay? So I can already see that Jess is gonna be running through this house, pissing people off, and she does exactly that, okay? Next we see Joey and Jen, and they're having a little go-kart race, and she lets him know that she put her schooling on hold to be here with him, and I'm like, okay, hope it works out, <laughs> like, okay. But Joey does tell her that he really appreciates the sacrifice that she made to be here, and they share a kiss. So next they breeze through some more dates and next we see Joey with Daisy. Daisy seems very sweet and Joey is definitely drawn to her and he goes in for the kiss. He actually lingers a bit after the kiss and I'm like, ooh, I think he really, really likes Daisy, okay? So, so far Joey has already kissed two more people after Jess and she's still there in the living room talking about this kiss that the ladies don't wanna hear about, okay? And clearly, Jess doesn't care, and she makes that very clear. I, would never, like, I don't I think never, I would do that. Never. never. I literally do not give a So next, we see Jessie bring out the first impression rose, and of course, all of the ladies are super excited about it, okay? Now, I was trying to spare Jess until this scene. I was trying to spare her, but she's a mess. Joey is on a date with Taylor. And Jess walks her behind over to them, interrupts them, and she's like, Um, do you mind if I steal him for a sec? My date with him got cut kind of short. And Taylor is better than me because I'd have been like, uh, yes, I do mind. Have a good night. And I would have turned my back to her and continued my conversation with Joey. Because, girl, your date getting cut short, that don't got a damn thing to do with me. Like, what are you doing? And Joey looked so uncomfortable. <laughs> Joey looks so uncomfortable in this scene, as he should, because it's an awkward situation. Like, girl, what's wrong with you? Are you okay? So Taylor says, well, can I just have one more minute with him? And Jess is like, okay, sure. And then on top of that, she doesn't even leave. She literally stands there a few feet away while they're finishing their conversation. Taylor, baby, she should have said, hey, Joey, let's go over here, right? And she should have just left Jess standing there looking crazy. But as crazy as Jess is, she probably would have followed them wherever they went, okay? <laughs> she probably would have followed them. This behavior is absolutely ridiculous to me. See, I had thought that those tears in her eyes after that kiss meant love. I didn't know that it meant crazy. And then she did the thing that I absolutely hate. That passive aggressive, Oh, I hate that. Oh, I hate that. Okay, working in corporate America, that passive aggress, I hate it, okay? After Taylor finishes her date with Joey and she gets up, Jess is like, Oh, I'm sorry. I don't mean to be that girl, but 
Girl, yes, you do. What are you talking about? Yes, you do. And then she has the nerve to say that she's surprised that Taylor gave her the cold shoulder as she walked away. Okay, so one, you're passive aggressive, and two, you lack self-awareness. Because why would you be surprised that Taylor reacted that way to you? What, what, why would that be surprising unless you just, you like live in your own Delulu land? So of course Taylor goes back to the mansion and she lets the other ladies know. And of course they are not feeling it. And after when Jess comes back, she pulls Jess aside because she's still upset about what she did. She cut into her time with Joey. And all Jess does is gaslight her. Oh, I didn't do that. You're putting actions where I didn't do this. You're saying I did this. What? That's all she's doing. The conversation was absolutely pointless. Because like I said before, Jess has no self-awareness. Like, at all. And at this point, I don't like Jess at all. If you couldn't tell, I don't like her, okay? I understand that it's a competition. Everyone is fighting for time with Joey and his attention. But there's a way to go about things. And what she did to Taylor was just rude. It was just rude. And then to act confused by her response, huh? What? I, I didn't do that. I can't, I... People like that are the worst. Listen, if you gonna be a B-I-T-C-H, just be a B-I-T-C-H and own it, okay? So next we see the sisters and they're about to tell everyone that they're sisters, right? So they say, okay, we know that there's an elephant in the room. But when they finally revealed it, everyone looked surprised. I didn't hear anyone say, I knew it. You two look just alike. I didn't get that, so they probably could have kept it a secret if they really wanted to. I honestly thought that they would have kept this secret a little bit longer, like past the first episode, but I guess that's not what they wanted to do. And everyone else pretty much feels the same way. They're kind of grossed out. They're like, how is this gonna work if you two are dating the same guy? But clearly they're used to this dynamic, okay? Because they did say that they've had some dating overlaps in the past, but nothing weird. And I'm like, how can that be anything but weird? That's weird, sis. Sisters, okay? That's weird. Next, we see Joey. He's on a date with Lauren. And like I said before, she was giving friend homegirl vibes. I don't think that he's feeling her at all because she actually hinted about kissing him. And he kind of low-key curved her. He didn't kiss her, okay? And that didn't surprise me. After the beer chugging, like I said, it's giving friend vibes, not romantic vibes. But next we see her little sister, Allison. She comes out and she interrupts her date. Now, I'm less annoyed at... Allison interrupting Lauren's date than I was, what's her name? Jess interrupting Taylor's date because Allison and Lauren are sisters. Like, it's just different. I don't care. <laughs> it's just different. I feel like they can do that. They're sisters. You get what I'm saying? But anyway, Allison interrupts the date and they're in a competition of who will get the first kiss. And it's really childish to me. I just feel like this is a game that they have played their entire lives. I feel like they've been dating each other's exes, picking up each other's sloppy seconds. And at the end of the day, all it's about is who can get the guy, but it's not really about the guy. It's just about who can win their little competition. You get what I'm saying? But Allison does get the very first kiss from Joey between the two. And of course, Lauren is not happy about this. And I'm like, y'all are weird. Go home, okay? Yes, Allison won the competition. She got the first kiss. Go home. Because it really doesn't seem like y'all are here for Joey. But after that kiss, Lauren comes back outside and the ladies sit down with Joey and they let him know that they are sisters. And he actually says that he kind of picked up on it because their family stories were so similar. Now, Joey, I don't think that you remembered everyone's family story. You talked to 32 of these women. I, you ain't, you didn't remember their stories. <laughs> you didn't remember their stories. But he's not weirded out or grossed out by it. He says that he has to, you know, of course, move more carefully. But he is looking forward to getting to know both of the ladies. So we'll see how that goes. Next, we see Joey on a date with Kelsey. And he seems to really like her, like I said, before he asked her if she's willing to move and she says yes they don't kiss but I do sense a good vibe between them finally we see Leia with this card and she opens it up okay and this card gives her the power to steal a one-on-one -on -one date from anyone before hometowns and I'm like oh this is juicy I like this but Leah is very torn about it because she feels she feels bad at the possibility of stealing someone else's date, right? And I definitely understand her being in this situation and having to make that decision. It's a hard decision for her to make. But as a viewer, this is good TV. <laughs> this is good TV, okay? So she meets up with Joey and she tells him what's in the card. She tells him how she feels about it and she is very upset about it. And she says that what's important to her is their true connection, right? Not necessarily these little advantages that she gets from this card. She wants a real connection with him. And if it's gonna be her, it's gonna be her 
regardless of what's in this card. And she's right about that. So next she goes to the mansion and she tells the ladies and she is crying. Can y'all tell me about Leia in a past season? Is she always like this kind and sweet and sensitive? Or is this new for her? I'm just curious because based on her reaction to this, she seems like an absolute sweetheart. She really does, okay? And the ladies are absolutely shocked to find out what was in this card. And they're of course nervous about it. But Leia gets up and she throws the card in the fireplace. And a lot of the ladies are like, oh wow, that's amazing. But a lot of them are like, I would have kept that card. And I was waiting for Jess to jump her ass in that fire to get that card. I was. I was surprised that she didn't do that. So Joey goes on a few more dates. He goes on one with Lexi and she gives him a cute little gift and they share a kiss as well. So now that's what, Joey done kissed four people now? Does he wash his mouth out after between, does he, does he wash his mouth out between kiss? Okay, anyways, moving on. <laughs> so we see Maria and she's saying that she will not kiss Joey tonight unless she wants to. And I'm like, okay, that's fine. But in the back of my mind, I was like, girl, if that man tries to kiss you, you gonna kiss him. Like, let's be real, okay? But they go on a little date. They talk about movies. They talk about astrology. Joey leans in for the kiss and what? Surprise, surprise. She kisses him, okay? She kisses him and she's like, look, I couldn't help myself. And she actually lets him know that she planned on not kissing him because he's been kissing all these other women, but they just shared a special moment and she had to do it, okay? And I don't blame her. Look, the kissing is gross to me, but y'all grown. Do what y'all wanna do, okay? Do whatever. Whatever. So next we see Joey pulling Leia aside and he gives her the first impression oh. rose. And I think that it has a lot to do with how she reacted to receiving the information in the card. I feel like that really meant a lot to Joey. But as Joey's doing that, we see a woman named Evelyn and she's very upset because she feels like she didn't even get to go on a date with Joey, right? She didn't get to spend one-on-one -on -one time with him. So how is he already giving out an impression rose when he hasn't even met all of the ladies. And even when they get back to the mansion, she's still crying. And I understand being annoyed, but you're not the only woman who didn't get one on time with Joey. She was just really, really, really upset and hurt by it. And I hated that for her. I just really hate to see women cry and be let down on these shows. I, re I really do. So now it's time for the rose ceremony. We see Allison, that's the younger sister. She gets the first rose. And Lauren, her older sister, turns around and tells her to go F herself. Girl. Lauren, go home, go home. You doing too much. Just go home. And like I said before, I'm gonna say it again. I don't even think Lauren likes Joey. She just wanna beat her sister. Like, and it's weird. It's getting weird. Jess gets a rose, of course, okay? Jess is the drama for the show. She ain't going nowhere anytime soon. <laughs> she ain't going anywhere anytime soon. And I'm not mad at it because she's a hot mess. It's good TV, period. Then I see Joey, he's giving roses out to people who I haven't even seen before this scene. And I'm like, who are these people? Did they sneak more people in while we weren't watching during the commercial break? Cause some of these people who were getting roses, I'm, who, who are these people? I had never seen them before. So we see my girl Evelyn and she gets the second to last rose. And I'm happy that she gets to stay. I'm happy that she gets to spend more time with Joey, that we get to see more of her. I would like to see how her dates with Joey go. And who gets the very last rose? Big sis Lauren, okay? So he tells all of the other ladies who didn't make it by, and clearly they're all very upset. One of them actually says like, you don't even expect to feel this way until it happens. But all of the ladies were definitely emotional by being sent home on the first night, especially the ones who didn't even get that one-on-one -on -one time with him. But as we all know, that's the name of the game. Everybody can't stay. And I wish the best for all of those ladies who were sent home. Next, we see Joey and he's toasting with the ladies who will be moving on. And of course, they're happy. They're all excited. Okay, looking forward to the future with Joey. And then they show us some previews, okay? And from what I see, it looks like Kelsey, Rachel, Maria, and who else? I can't remember, but it definitely looks like those three will be making it far. But y'all have told me in the Golden Bachelor comments that sometimes they purposely make things look one way and it's gonna be the complete opposite. So we'll see what happens. And then child, we see Jess with a drink in her hand, looking drunk and crazy, calling Maria a B-I-T-C-H. 
And I'm like, drama? Oh my goodness. We see people walking away. We see what looks like people leaving early. I don't know, but this season looks like it's gonna be a mess. Y'all know I like a little bit of mess, so I am here for it, okay? <laughs> but like I said before, I really enjoyed this first episode. Let's get in the comments. Let's talk about it below. Who is your most favorite? Who is your least favorite? What are your predictions? No spoilers though, okay? If you got some behind the scenes information and you know who gonna get picked, please do not put it down below, okay? <laughs> but we'll chat about all of it. Don't forget to hit like, hit that subscribe button. Make sure that you hit the notification bell so that you don't miss when I upload. And I will see y'all in my next video. Bye! Bye. 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 Bye.